Okay, so in this video we're just going to look at a situation where you might have um, multiple conditions that need to be met. So uh, in this previous example we were looking at, we just had the height limit. Now um, maybe there was also an age limit for a ride. So uh, we would need to do two tests. We need to check to make sure that uh, the person wanting to go on the ride is tall enough, but also that they are old enough. So there would be two conditions that need to be met. So um, what I'm going to do is set up another variable here called age limit and we'll say maybe they need to be eight years or older and we'll also ask them for input so we'll set up a variable called age and just like the line above we're just going to ask them to enter their age so enter your age in years and this time in our condition conditional statement here it says if height is greater than or equal to height limit we can also test a second one by saying and, and saying age is greater than or equal to age limit. And then that way it will test both of them. Now because we're using and, it means both conditions need to be true for this first response to be uh, delivered. If either of those two conditions is false, it will drop down to the else statement and print this. So saying you're too short is probably not quite right. I'll just say you cannot go on this ride. Okay, so if we just test that now, um, if we put in a height that is tall enough, but then say we're too young, that should fail the second condition. Therefore, we get this, the second message. We get that you cannot go. If, um, right, I'll test that again. If we meet both conditions, so our height is tall enough and we are old enough, then both conditions are met and we get success, we get the true statement. Um, what else do we want to test? Oh yep, now what if they're both not met, so my height is only uh, 80, my age is only 5, again both failed, so therefore we get the final, the else statement. Okay, so that's um, an example of what you do when you have two conditions that need to be met. Now, um, you notice with this one though, it's not giving you a reason why you can't go on the ride. It just says you may not. So uh, what we're going to do in the next video is look at how we can maybe um, use a nested if statement um, to give uh, a more informative response. So we could actually say, well, no, sorry, you can't go because you're not tall enough or you're not old enough. But that'll be in the next video.